What's going on everybody? This is a donation request. This is for Christopher. This is the band Charlie. Song called Fantasy Girls. Okay, never heard of this. Charlie was a British rock band formed in 1971 by singer-songwriter Terry Thomas. Group was most active as a recording unit from the mid-70s to 86. Never charted in the UK but had four minor hits in the US. None of which are Fantasy Girls. Band was briefly called Charlie Cuckoo after a racehorse, but soon became known just as Charlie Steve Gad. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say Steve Gad is the drummer, not to be confused with American session drum drummer of the same name. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I feel like that sucks. <laughs> That's oh man. Uh, what's your name, Steve Gad? No, really, what's your name? <laughs> You're a drummer and your name is Steve Gadd? No, get out of here. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. I don't feel so bad about my name now. <laughs> I don't feel bad about my name. Anyways, the band debuted as a recording act in 1973, issuing... Uh, okay, all right. Uh, three years later, Charlie released their first album, Fantasy Girls. Thomas was Charlie's primary songwriter for this and all future albums, although he also collaborated with all the other band members from time to time. They supported The Who at their 1975 Hammersmith Odeon Christmas shows and toured the UK in spring 76 as a support act for the band Focus. Hocus Pocus, right? Okay. To promote the album. Okay. And that's basically that. I mean, they had a bunch of albums and quite a few singles but there's not a ton of other information like specifically on this album which it looks like is their first album so um, we're just gonna check it out charlie fantasy girls all right let's do it bam
sing. Where the rest of it, yeah, you hear these like guitars going. Like it sounds like this is just like a hard rock kind of song. To all of a sudden have like an acoustic guitar lead. I don't like this part at all. I like the guitar thing, but like the vocal, you know. Yeah, this is just like straight up hard rock, right? Like musically, this is all fine. These vocals really kind of don't do it for me, though. I don't know if it's this recording, but I don't know. Probably not. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this doesn't work for me. I don't like his vocals. I don't think that they're strong enough. They're not, they're, they're not, they just don't sound good enough. They're, they're, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's like how it was recorded or, or maybe the recording itself or whatever, but th there's something that's missing in his, in the lead vocals to me. That's how I feel. There's something that's missing in the lead vocals. It's just not working. Like it's not like distinct enough. There's not enough of a character on it or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like strong enough for like the music, which is just like hard rock. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's not catching me. It's not like getting me. And then the, it's all right. Like the melodic stuff, it was okay. The, that whole, it's all right. It's all right. Like that part that I didn't like that. I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this part. Musically it was fine. It was fine. It was okay. I thought it was an interesting choice to have the acoustic guitar lead. Because the rest of the song just sounds like a straight up hard rock song, right? Yeah, for me it was really just the vocals did not catch. Didn't work. And it's too bad that they got the wrong Steve Gadd on drums. Damn. 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 That's tough. <laughs> All right. All right, there it is. Charlie, never heard of them. There they are. Opened up for The Who, supported The Who. And, the, and that wacky band Focus. Cool. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.